Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class, Chemistry 100B Laboratory. Today, I am going to make a pre-lab lecture on the experiment, the types of chemical reactions. I want you to listen attentively and observe carefully. For the first part of the experiment, we are going to perform the type of reaction which is synthesis or combination reaction. In this type of reaction, there are two or more reactants forming only one product. So the pattern is reactant A plus reactant B will form AB. In this activity, we are asked only to recall what had happened to the magnesium ribbon when it was heated and also recall what had happened to the mixture of the iron and the sulfur after it has been heated. These two activities were done in the experiment on the changes in matter. For the second part of this activity, we are going to perform the decomposition reaction. Now, in decomposition reaction, there is only one reactant forming two or more products. The pattern is AB equals A plus B or ABC equals AB plus C. Now, in this experiment, we are asked to heat a blue vitriol in a test tube. I would like you to observe what will happen to the blue vitriol after it is being heated. So this is the blue vitriol. This is chemically known as copper sulfate pentahydrate. Kindly observe what happens to the blue vitriol after it is being heated. Observe what happens. The next type of reaction that we are going to perform is the single replacement or the displacement reaction. Here, we are going to use the following reagents. The copper sulfate, the zinc sulfate, and the silver nitrate. So this is the copper sulfate. Let us get 5 ml of this. This is the zinc sulfate. And this is the silver nitrate. So the first test tube containing the copper sulfate we are going to put here an iron nail.
To the second test tube containing the zinc sulfate, we are going to add the magnesium report. To the third test tube containing the silver nitrate, we are going to add a copper wire. Now, we are going to observe what will happen to these solutions. What will happen to the iron, to the magnesium ribbon, and to the copper wire when they are placed into the solutions. For the next type of chemical reaction that we are going to perform, it is the double decomposition reaction, or this is known as metathesis. In metathesis or double decomposition reaction, there are two or more reactants forming two or more products. Seemingly, there will be an exchange of elements between reactants, meaning the cation of one reactant will react with the anion of the other reactant, and the cation of the second reactant will react with the anion of the first reactant. So we are going to exhibit the double decomposition reaction between sulfuric acid and barium chloride. This is the sulfuric acid and this is the barium chloride. We will get 3 ml of the barium chloride. and add it with 3 ml of sulfuric acid. I want you to observe what happens. Another chemical reaction exhibiting a double decomposition reaction is that between silver nitrate and sodium chloride. This is the silver nitrate solution and this is the sodium chloride solution. This is the silver nitrate solution. We will use 3 ml of this. And we will add 3 ml of the sodium chloride solution. I want you to observe what happens. Another double decomposition reaction that we are going to perform is the reaction between the lead acetate and the potassium iodide. We will get 3 ml of the lead acetate and add it with 3 ml of the potassium iodide.
I want you to observe what happened. So those are the four types of chemical reactions that I have demonstrated to you. What I would like you to do next is you are going to write the chemical equation representing the chemical reactions of those types of chemical reactions which I have demonstrated. And kindly submit your output on Wednesday. I would like to remind you that when you are going to submit your output, kindly take a picture of your answers or the lab guide sheets in a portrait form. And please take a picture for every sheet, not by parts of the lab guide. That would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisita Ruiz of Holy Name University.